Hello, what's up? How's it going? Uh, take whichever you prefer because uh, today I'm going to talk about more functions. I'm sorry I could not make these videos earlier. I have been really busy, but uh, here I am uh, back for good and uh, ready to talk about more functions. And in this video, we are going to talk about pass by value and pass by reference. This is basically the continuity of the last video and hopefully you have seen my previous videos and you know a little bit about functions because I'm going to go right into it and talk more about it. Alright, so uh, uh, pass by value and pass by reference is uh, kind of a terminology that uh, confuses a lot of people getting into programming uh, and hopefully after this video that would not be the case for you. Okay, here I have a very simple uh, C++ program uh, that involves a function. Okay, um, it has obviously a main function and a function called process. Uh, process takes in two variables, uh, two integers A and B. And from main, I have uh, assigned uh, one to A and two to B and send those to value to function called process and process will multiply a by 3 b by 4 and it will add uh, those two numbers and put it in c and return it and after that in main function we print all those three values a equals to blah blah b equals to blah blah and c equals to blah blah so generally in this function you're expecting a equals to 1 b equals to 1 and c equals to whatever maybe 11 i guess right so um, so that is absolutely correct um, if you have never heard about pass by reference and pass by value then uh, that's exactly what this program is supposed to do and uh, it will do exactly that okay um, what pass by value means is that you are actually passing the value inside a variable not the variable itself so any change that you make in the function regarding the value of uh, the past variable is not going to affect in the place where it is called from okay uh, in this case uh, you're sending one and two to the function called process you're not actually sending the variable a and b all right that means pass by value okay you're actually sending the value not the variable so whatever value of a and b is it's not going to affect uh, any any value a and b in the main function even though it was changed in function call process uh, so far so good all right so next i'm going to talk about uh, a slightly different idea called pass by reference and in pass by reference as a lot of people might have already guessed you actually pass the variable itself inside a function and you do that by adding this little ampersand sign here and this ampersand sign will, will uh, let you pass the variable not just the value okay so whatever change you make inside this function to a and b is going to affect the variable that was passed in the main function so the variable a and b that was passed from the main function uh, despite there is another inter declared uh, it will it will so change when you print this out so here according to that rule i'm expecting a equals to um 3 b equals to 4 and c equals to 11 so far so good all right cool so i'm going to show you this uh, using a program and here it is the same program and as you can see this is done passed by value in in this function called process i'm only sending value uh, one and two from main function and it will process from there so let me just uh, compile it real quick and dot uh, cc name it sample all right there you go a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 11 just as expected and uh, now i'm going to change it uh, so that it will be more pass by reference all right 
And so let me recompile it and run it. There we go. 3811. That's all. Ladies and gentlemen, pass my value and pass my reference. Hopefully you are not confused with this. If you are, just let me know. I will try to explain it better than this. Um, but this is fairly simple concept. But so it's hard for a lot of people that I found uh, kind of hard to understand. But anyways, uh, so and in next video I'm going to talk about uh, something called recursion. But be warned recursion is tough and don't tell me I haven't warned you there's a little uh, picture showing what uh, how you learn and what is recursion in order to understand recursion you will have to understand recursion so that's exactly what recursion is <laughs> I'm not joking that's exactly what recursion is and uh, I'll catch you on that on the next video it's very very interesting I promise you that much all right have fun and uh, next video will be up soon go to uh, digitalistes.com for more description articles and return um, part of this video of course all right have a good time